Typically, we think of pain as a symptom. Treat the underlying cause and the pain will go away. But what about the type of pain that won't go away? Chris Weber reports, when all else fails, there is one ray of hope. It's hard to, when you got pain, you know, you, I got it. You can't see it and I can't tell you how it is. That's the way pain is. Thirteen years ago, Goldie Jeffrey began suffering from shingles, an extremely painful condition that affects the nerves. She was told she'd have to live with it. She tried pain rubs, pills, acupuncture, nerve blocks, but the pain persisted and was often debilitating. I didn't do anything before but stay in the bed. Even though I didn't sleep, just lay, lay like an invalid. Goldie's plight led her to Grant Medical Center and to Dr. Gladstone McDowell, a specialist in the treatment of chronic intractable pain. Dr. McDowell was able to offer Goldie the relief that had long eluded her with a treatment called neurostimulation. An implanted device sends electrical impulses to the spinal cord, blocking pain signals before they have a chance to reach the brain. You're basically hoping to modulate the electrical signals in an area of the spinal cord called the dorsal horn. That's sort of the um, way station for pain. That's where pain comes and changes cars, goes across the spinal cord and then goes up to the level of, of the midbrain and then the upper brain where pain is actually perceived. So you can modulate pain at the spinal cord level and that's what, what we do with neurostimulation. Neurostimulation is now being used to treat a variety of chronically painful conditions, including chest wall pain and complex regional pain syndrome. But Dr. McDowell cautions it's considered only after all other treatment options have been exhausted. This is not a curative procedure. This is purely a masking procedure. You know, I, I tell people, I said, whatever is causing your pain may still be there. I only do this for people who have no uh, medical or surgical cure. For Goldie Jeffrey, the pain management she's received through neurostimulation has given her back her life. It was my life. The pain was my life. This took it away. Not the pain. Took the thoughts. <laughs> took the thoughts away. Chronic pain costs Americans an estimated $100 billion a year and affects approximately 25 percent of the U.S. population. For many patients, neurostimulation provides safe, significant, and cost-effective pain relief.